We have continuing coverage of a Benton County woman who was accused of a crime in 2019. WBBJ 7 Eyewitness News reporter Brooklyn Kent has that story. Candace Wright was charged with arson, vandalism over $250,000, aggravated burglary, theft of property over $10,000, and felony for possession of marijuana with an intent to sell. In 2019, Wright and an accomplice allegedly burned down a home on October 2nd of 2019. In 2022, she was arrested and booked into jail. On Tuesday, Wright is facing jail time. She did plead today to various counts of arson and vandalism. She's getting a total effective sentence of 10 years. Ken and Nisha Berry's attorney, Megan Fowler, shares that Wright and an accomplice allegedly stole a wedding dress, cocktail dress, silver coin collection, jewelry, art from the home, clothes, and other various items from the home prior to the fire. The agreement that was entered into did not involve her actually uh, pleading guilty or admitting to the conduct. Um, the law provides for a provision where uh, you can accept a negotiated agreement, which is what happened today, um, without having to admit any, to any of the actions or any of the facts that were alleged. Wright's attorney says they were able to negotiate an agreement and are pleased with the resolution to this case. However, the victims of this case are still hurt. Nisha Berry, victim of the fire, says more. I think we would have rather had some truth brought to light during a trial, but just glad it's over. Prior to the sentencing, Fowler read a statement from the Berries requesting no form of any communication from Wright. We've just had some incidences where we've been harassed online and we just want to be left alone. Wright's alleged accomplice will be in court on October 21st. In Camden, Brooklyn Kent, WBBJ 7 Eyewitness News. Wright will be eligible for parole at a later time because she's considered a standard one offender.